Okay, in this tutorial, I want to talk about setting recording levels in Pro Tools. Now, one of my biggest pet peeves when using a DAW is the metering. Now, thankfully, in Pro Tools 11, they've added some new changes that'll make it easier to adjust our recording levels. It's been my feeling for quite a while that we're recording too hot, but I think I found a workaround using the new metering features in Pro Tools 11 to get around that. So if we go to Preferences, here's the new metering. Advanced meter type settings. For now, we're going to stick with the classic ones. But anything we do in this tutorial, we'll work with any of them. So I set up some tracks over here using the Signal Generator plugin with a 1 kilohertz sine wave at 0 dB. I'm busting this out from this track into this audio input. So when we bring this up, we see levels on the meter. If we bring it up to zero, the meter goes all the way up. And if we go above zero, it goes into the red. So my biggest complaint in almost all DAWs is how the metering works. For instance, almost all of our recording gear, our mic preamps, our compressors, our analog digital converters, they're all set up for minus 18 dB as a nominal level. That's where that gear is happy. Now, some of the high-end gear can be pushed much further, maybe plus 20 or plus 22 or even plus 24, but some of the lower-end gear can't go that high. And either way, none of that gear is meant to go that high. The nominal level, how it's set up when it's made, is minus 18 dB. So let's set our send to be minus 18 dB. Do you notice the problem? That's a pretty low level, and most DAWs work this way. So for most of us, that looks a little too low, even though that's considered to be perfect. Now, we can go a bit above that, but when you're dealing with your analog front end, your mic pre's and your converters, this is where it wants to be. And to me, that looks too low. So we could adjust that in here. So let's bring up what looks like a good level. Somewhere around here. This looks pretty good over here. And for the most part, that's what most people would use, somewhere around here. But if you look at it, we're at minus 6, which is 12 dB hotter than where our gear wants to be, our analog gear. So that's considered to be too hot. But it looks good on the meters. It's not overloading. So let's readjust our meters to compensate. Let's bring this down, go to our preferences, and change 0 dB as our reference point to be minus 18. So now we bring this up, the meter looks much hotter. And if we go to minus 18 dB, it's full up. But there is a slight difference. If we go any hotter, it doesn't overload. Going up and up and up, still not overloading. So we have all this extra headroom to play with. If we go above zero, then it overloads. But our new level is minus 18. Now, personally, I think this is too high, because when you're making the levels look good, around here, we're down to minus 22. We don't need to go that low. So let's bring our reference point up a bit. Instead of minus 18, let's make it minus 10. So now, if we hit it at minus 18, it looks like that. That's quite a bit better. And if we go a bit above, around here, that's still OK. We're at minus 14 dB. That's only 4 dB above nominal level. Most gear is still happy around that range. We're using a straight tone right now. When you're recording audio, it's going to jump around a bit. So if you want it to be around here, that's about minus 15, about 3.5 dB higher than nominal level, which, like I said, is fine. So the next thing we could adjust are the colors. See, so it gets bright green here, and up here, it gets orange. We could adjust those as well. Now, they don't change the recording. That's just a visual, but it still can be very helpful to see how good our levels are. So let's set the color break low level to minus 8. And we'll leave the color break high alone. What that's going to do is turn on this bright green color right at minus 18 dB, which is the perfect level. So when we see that bright green, we know we're in the perfect area. And if you bring it up and you hit orange, you're about minus 13 dB. 
which is only 5 dB hotter, which is still a very good level. But it'll tell us, be careful in this area. You're starting to get a little too hot. But the beauty of this is that if we go higher to over here, it still doesn't distort. We still have 8 dB to play with. Go a little higher, still not distorting. We have more than 3 dB to play with. So we can keep going up to zero before it actually hits red. So that gives us a lot of extra headroom to play with. And more importantly, we don't have to worry about watching our meters. If we set a level around here, the only way this is going to distort is if something gets 14 dB hotter. And that's really not going to happen. Most things don't jump 14 dB. We're dealing with a sine wave right now. Let's record a vocal instead. Bring it up slowly. And here's a more normal looking level. And let's get a level that looks good and see where we are. Notice, most of this is in the bright green. That's where we want to be. And with our peak level here, we can reset it. And let's see how hot it gets. At minus 15, go a little higher. Minus 13, I'm starting to hit orange. So right about here is about minus 12, which is only 6 dB above nominal level, which is still okay. If we're recording this hot, we're not going to be pushing our gear harder than necessary. And the beauty of this, with this much headroom, that vocal has to go minus 12 dB hotter before it's going to distort. So we can set our levels without worrying about it distorting. If it gets a little hotter, even like this, it's still not in the zero. We still have 7 dB to go. Go higher, still not distorting. The meter looks hot, but we're not distorting yet. So let's bring it down to a perfect level, right about here. And let's record it and see what it looks like. Now it's going to record a little bit lower than you might be used to, but that's okay. If it bothers you, turn on Clip Gain Info, and we can turn it up right here. It's not going to distort once it's digital, as long as you don't go over zero. So we can play it back much hotter, in this situation, almost 13 dB hotter, but we didn't drive our analog gear harder than necessary. So that's pretty much it. That's getting recording levels in Pro Tools. I hope you try out this idea, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.